Hello everyone, welcome to LRDFRF. My name is Samir Sardana. And in this video, I'm going to discuss this very beautiful puzzle where you'll be finding the password of James Bond security box. A very, very important and beautiful puzzle. Please give it a try. And if you like the video, please like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. The 500 plus video on this channel, guys. The question says, I hope you have tried it. In Casino Royale, James Bond is required to enter a four-letter password into a security device. All the four letters in the passwords are different and taken from the 26 letters of English alphabet. And to open the security device, Bond must enter that four-letter password correctly. In case the password entered by the Bond has all the four letters same as of the original password, but not in the right order, or has three letters correct also at right places but one wrong letter then the device the security device flash the message act like a bond on the screen kya meaning a statement ka let's have a look at it see that let's say let's say the password of james bond uh, security box is let's say b o n d let's say this is a password right we are just assuming it right just to understand this statement, if the password of the box is B O N D, but James Bond have forgotten this password, right? Now, if he is using the same four letters but in different order, let's say if the bond enter, if the bond enter the password as O B D N, now you see that all the four letters are same, but the order of the letter is not same. So in this particular case the device will flash the message act like a bond right act like a bond right this will be the message that will be coming out if you use the same four letters but in different order or if he uses a three same letter at the right places but one wrong letter for example in this case if he uses the three letter b and d exactly at its own position but instead of using O at second place, let's say if he's using C here, in this particular case, again, the same matches will be flashed on the device. So in two cases, act like a bond will be shown as a message. If the letter, if the, four say, if the same four letters are used or if one of the letter has been replaced by some other letter, but all three other letters are used at its own position. Second, it says, in case the password entered by the bond is having three letter as of the original password and one wrong letter, the device flash the message, you are not bond. That means bond is using the three letters X out of the B, O and D, but their order is not same and one letter is wrong. For example, in this case, if he's using N, B, D right here and he's using C here. Now he's using a three letter as a letter of the password bond and db are the same as this password and but the order of the letter is not same also the fourth letter that is using is a wrong letter in this particular case the message that will be coming out from the device the message that will be flashed on the device would be you are not bond why you are not bond that will be the password that, that will be the message that will be coming out so that's my whole set right the concept of this whole set is actually uh, based on permutation and combination concept. Now, question one says Bond forgot his password completely and hence started putting the letters intelligently to get the correct password in minimum number of trials. Now, in minimum number of trials, Bond need to correct, get the correct password. Keep this in mind, minimum number of trials. What is the maximum number of trials he might have to put in Keep this in mind, the maximum number of trials he might have to put in to get the correct password if in his first trial he received a message, act like a bond. Now, if he, if in the first trial, if in the first trial he is receiving a message, act like a bond. Keep this in mind. The first trial, the message flashed is act like a bond, right? Act like a bond, right? then you see that he must have he must have used either the four letters right he must have entered 
he must have entered the password with the same letter of B O N D. Let's say if this is the four letter password, then he must have used these letters but in different order. Or there might be a case he would be using the three letter exactly at its own position and might be using one letter as wrong. So either one of these cases must have happened. Now, if in the minimum number of trial he want to get to the correct password, the first thing that Bond will do, he will try to find out whether the message of act like a Bond is flashed because of this reason or because of this reason. Now, how will he get to know? Now, you see that if in his next trial, he changed the position of N and D, let's say, if he changed the position of N and D, he will get to know. Now, now you see that if he changed the position of N and D here, you see here, in this particular case, if, if the password is actual password is born and because in this case also all the four letters are correct, he will get the same message as act like a bond. But in this particular case, if he, if he change any of these two position, if he change any of these two position, he will get a message of act like a bond. Uh, sorry, uh, of you are not a bond, right? You are not bond. So that means after one more trial, changing the letter of these, any of these two will tell him that he is getting the message of act like a bond because of four correct letter or because of three correct letter and one wrong letter. So one more trials will be done, one more trials will be done by the bond to identify whether he is using all the four letters same or he using the three letters same at its right places but one wrong letter. Okay. Let's say, let's say that after one trial he sorted out that all the four letters are correct but they are not in order. In this particular case, in this particular case, if you finally try to reach to the right password, he will have to, you see that how many letters, how many words he can make using the letter of the word bond. The first letter can be filled in four ways. Second letter can be, second place can be filled in three ways. Third place, can, third letter can be filled in two ways and the fourth letter can be filled in one way. So in this particular case, he will be using 24 trials and out of those 24, one would definitely be the correct password right so after after attempting these 24 trials he will finally reach to the correct trial but but the question is what is the maximum number of trials he might have to get to the correct password so if you go for the second case let's say he found that three letters are at on position in a correct way but one letter is wrong but he he himself do not know that which of these three letter is wrong. So first thing that he need to do, once he sorted out that three letters are at its own position, but one letter is wrong at its wrong position and he do not know that which letter is wrong. So first he will try to identify that out of these four letter, which particular letter is wrong and what are the three letters which are at its own places. So what will he do? He will change the position of first B. Let's say in this particular case, if he replaces B with some other letter, if he replaces B with some other letter, now if he replaces B with some other letter and because the correct password is born, in that case his two letter will be right and two letters will be wrong, he will get a message of act, uh, he will get a message of you are not born, right? So he will get to know that on changing the position of one after one more trial, he will get to know that B is actually at its right position. Then finally, he will change the position of uh, N and D and C. So maximum, because I'm supposed to find out the maximum number of trials, he first need to identify what are the three letters correct. So on changing the these three letters with some other letter, the message that will be flashed would be you are not bound. But on changing the C with some other letter will still flash the message that act like a bond because if I change C with some other letter, 
and because b and d are at its right position at right places in the same order the the message will be act like a bond so act like a bond will be will be flashed only in the case the letter c is replaced with some other other letter so the moment he get a message of act like a bond he will get to know that this letter is a wrong letter and rest of the letter are right and to get to that because i'm supposed to find out the maximum number of trials he need to do three trials right so one trial for b one trial for n one trial for d in three trials he will get to know that the second letter c is wrong now the second letter c is wrong and he will get to know now that b and d are the correct letter and they are at its right position i just need to see which letter will actually come over here what letter will actually come over here whether it will be o or c or right so which letter will come over here now how many and because it is given that all the four letter of the password are made of alphabets and all four are different alphabets how many alphabets we have total number of alphabets we have is 26 and out of 26 3 have already been used so he can apply his mind that this letter must be out of these 23 and also c he knows is already rejected in this particular case so he will be using 22 more trials why 22 o will be coming at 15th position so why he need to do all 22 trials because i'm supposed to find out the maximum number of trial so in 22 more trials he will get to know that the word o will be coming here so in this particular case he is doing 22 trials to get to get to know what what will be the second letter three trials to get to know which letter is wrong 22 plus 3 25 one trial to get to know whether all four letters are correct or whether three letters are correct and one is wrong 22 plus 3 25 plus 1 26 and one was the initial trial that he is doing right uh, where he is getting a message of act like a bond which is given in the question itself so total it is first trial plus this one trial to get to know which of these two case will work plus these three trial plus these 22 so the final answer will be 27 now some of you might be thinking why not 24 because we are supposed to find a minimum but then the question is asking me the maximum number of trials he might right he need to get to the pass with the minimum number of trials but finally we are supposed to find out what is the maximum number of trials he might have to put in to get to the correct password right so the maximum number of trials will be 27 that would be the correct answer of the question a very beautiful puzzle if you know the basics of permutation and combination this is a must do a uh, uh, concept for your lrx lr and di similar to this there will be many more sessions that i'll be uploading the 500 plus videos that i have uploaded for your logical reasoning and data interpretation preparation on the channel of lrdi prep so please like the video share it comment it and please share with all of your friends and subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, Guys, the, there are three more questions on this set, and there's a series that I'm running, and that series is uh, of 250 must-do sets before CAT, and I have done total 75 episode on that series. And if you want to, if you want to watch all those episodes, the links, link of all links of all those sessions are available in my Telegram group, Target CAT 2020 with Samir. The link is given in the description part of the video, Target CAT with Samir. and these two 250 must do sets before cat is a very very important and relevant set every set is relevant this particular question was also a part of episode number 75 uh link of that special class is also given the description part of the video you can watch that if you do this 250 ser set series your lrda preparation will be done for sure right every day i'm taking a class at 4 pm also i'm coming up with a 500 quant question must do quant questions before cat on anacademy plus and this would be a practice course this is again 500 selected and very very important questions will be discussed live on anacademy the course is going to start in the month of july 1st of july is the start date you can use the referral code lrds meer live to get 10% off on the plus subscription this geometry course i am running which i started on 8th of june again you can use the referral code lrds meer live to get 10% off There is also a bumper offer going on for CAT 2021. If you go for six month subscription, you get one extra month subscription for your Z, NMAT, and SNAP and IFT exam preparation. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next class. Thanks a lot.